Hey what's up guys? Today I'll show you a thriller film, old. Spoiler ahead, watch out and take care. Guy and Priska are on the verge of divorcing, as a final family vacation, the couple brings their son and daughter to a high-end resort. Son and daughter cannot wait to explore the beach, so they get changed into swimming suits soon after their arrival. Son befriends a boy nicknamed Friend, and has a happy time playing games together. However, they are completely unaware that their parents are going through a divorce. According to the plan, they will break the bond after the three-day holidays. It is no surprise that Guy and Priska still quarrel at the hotel, and even the children hear them hurling angry words at each other. Meanwhile, son is busy decoding a message given by friend, and daughter feels upset about the parents' relationship. The next day at breakfast time, the hotel manager recommends to the family a mysterious beach with stellar views. He will arrange a shuttle coach for transportation if the family is interested. Guy and Priska nod their heads at once. At this time, son sees friend, and they greet one another. Strangely enough, the manager quickly walks to friends, and pulls him aside. All of a sudden something shatters behind son. As they turn around, they see a lady suffering epileptic seizures. Fortunately, a surgeon shows up to help her. After a while, Guy's family board the shuttle coach, together with another couple who has a cute daughter, short named Cutie. The coach enters a jungle with warning signboards. As the coach cannot drive through the narrow pathway, the driver shifts their meals to the ground, and tells them to call him at any time when they want to leave. Otherwise, the driver will come to fetch them at 5 p.m. on the same day. Following the driver's instruction, the two families move forward, passing through a narrow cleavage to the breathtaking beach. Priska is overwhelmed by its pristine beauty. Immediately after, she discovers a fat guy nicknamed Mr. Fatty, zoning at the far distance. Surgeon frowns at Mr. Fatty's presence because his wife, nicknamed Miss Sexy, is too sexy to be revealed to anyone. While the children have fun at the sea, the adults enjoy sunbathing at the beach. Son and daughter chance upon a mysterious cave, before they return to the beach for some more games. The cave is bound to have some secrets, but they soon uncover some toys beneath the sand around its vicinity. What is more frightening, when Son is alone swimming at a pond, a female corpse floats to him. Scared to death, he runs to Priska, and tells her about it. The stoning fatty walks to them upon hearing Son's report. The men work together to pull up the corpse, while Priska takes the children away from the horrid scene. Once Mr. Fatty draws near to them, he begins to have a nosebleed. Little do the two families know that the night before, this dead woman was together with Fatty. Everyone focuses on Fatty, as he explains that this lady tried to escape the beach through swimming. He was left to wait for her return. Feeling skeptical, surgeon asks him about his nosebleed. But Fatty refuses to give more details. The surgeon wants to call the police, only to find there is no reception. Guy also checks his phone, and realizes the same thing. Meanwhile, another couple arrive at the beach. The wife is the lady nicknamed Seizure, who suffers from seizures. Before they fall for the beautiful scenery, they are told that a dead woman is found. Surgeon suspects that Fatty's nosebleed has to do with the deceased woman struggling prior to her death. Mr. Fatty rebukes him that he has been suffering from a nosebleed for a few hours of time. Sexy runs over to alert Surgeon that his mother is feeling unwell. Seizure's husband Hat, who wears a hat, wants to go back to the entrance to seek help. As soon as he enters the cleavage, he faints due to high pressure. When he regains his consciousness, the rest recalls that he stumbles out of the cave, putting his arms around the head. Surgeon does a quick check on his mother, and includes with relief that she just experienced a shock. Priska approaches Surgeon to inform him that Sun is behaving strangely. Surgeon has no time to attend to Sun. He also reasons that the children look totally fine altogether. The children find a streak of bright light on top of the mountain. Just when Surgeon is about to walk to the children, Miss Sexy cries out that mother-in-law is not breathing. Sadly enough, in a flash, Surgeon loses his mother. The new couple stirs up curiosity among the children. After a brief introduction, Hat guesses that son is in his teens, but daughter is firm that her younger brother is only six years old. At first, Hat thinks the children are playing a prank on him. Shortly after, Priska asks the boys and girls where her children have gone. She is shocked that they actually call her mom. It is beyond her understanding why the children have grown up so rapidly. Guy hugs his children in disbelief. In the meantime, Surgeon notices that Fatty wants to run away, and gives a chase. Right after they enter the cave, they are attacked with headaches. Later when they are awakened, they are found on the beach. The three consecutive cases suggest that the cave is a barrier that separates them from the outside world. 
The other tourists try to pass through the cave, but to no avail. Guy and Priska cannot help but worry about their children's rapid growth. Priska wants to get Surgeon to conduct a medical screening, to see if they have taken some pills wrongly. Surgeon is busy attacking Mr. Fatty. He slashes Fatty's greasy face with a skinny but sharp knife, claiming that Fatty wants to hurt him. When the rest wants to check Fatty's wound, they are surprised to find a fresh cut has been healed. Fatty explains that he and his girlfriend fell sick, and came to the beach for some relaxation. Seizure speculates if all of them have gone insane, for this is the most reasonable thing she can think of to explain the current situation. Surgeon finally has time to go check the children, and confirms that they have grown up. He also discovers that the dog they bring along has died. Hat proposes to swim across the sea, but no one complies due to the raging waves. Seizure gathers everyone to make it clear that by now, they should have trusted one another. Each family then tells their own purpose of visit and secrets. Unexpectedly, Priska's tumor grows large, and causes her to pass out. Surgeon knows he must operate on Priska now, so he cuts open her belly. The weird thing takes place again. As soon as he lifts up the knife, Priska's wound heals. For her survival, Surgeon cuts her another time. And then the rest helps to stretch open her cut, so that Surgeon could have time to remove the tumor. While the wound gets healed and Priska's skin looks intact, she wakes up feeling okay. However, another shocking fact surfaces. Fatty's dead girlfriend has turned into a skeleton. Priska tells the rest that it takes seven years for a dead corpse to decompose fully. Now only for three hours on the beach, the corpse has turned into bones. Now that it hits everyone that the time on the beach is speeding up. Most of them are adults, and they do not undergo many explicit changes. But the children have matured quickly. If one hour on the beach is equivalent to two years in the outside world, then one day on the beach would mean 50 years. During their conversation, they can tell that Hat is aging. Hat suspects that the rocks make them age fast. It could be due to fast aging that they faint at the cleavage. Priska finds out that her children are missing. As they are about to search around, Sexy's daughter and son walk towards them hand in hand. Sexy's daughter is already pregnant. Hat confidently says that the fetus is about five months old. Within a short time of just 20 minutes, Virgin is gifted with a grandchild. Immediately after, the pregnant lady is about to give birth. Sexy could not bear to see her own daughter going into labor, so she escapes. But at the next moment, she's sent back to the beach. When Sexy wakes up, the baby is born and soon dies. Son breaks down due to the loss of his own child. Surgeon begins to behave strangely and displays signs of Alzheimer's diseases. As everyone is drowning in sadness, Seizure screams out loud. It is because Surgeon finally loses self-control and kills Mr. Fatty. In such chaos, no one notices a figure moving on the top of the mountain. Guy painstakingly takes away Surgeon's knife. Hat worries about his wife's illness and decides to go get some medicine for her. After Hat's departure, Guy plans to climb the mountain, and Sun wants to go first. But Priska stops them. She points out that each family has someone with an illness. It seems like they are chosen for this trip. What's worse, their passports are left at the hotel, so they can wipe them out from Earth without anyone's notice. While everyone is waiting for Hat's return, daughter asks Priska if she has ever betrayed her dad. Priska does not hide her dark secret from daughter. Though she reasons that cancer makes her so depressed that she begins to enjoy physical pleasure, daughter cannot take it. To calm herself down, daughter chooses to walk into the sea, and sees Hat's dead body in the wave. In terror, daughter flees into the arms of Priska. Seizure is greatly tormented by her husband's death. At the same time, Miss Sexy's daughter is mourning the loss of her child, and decides to retaliate. While Sun is burying the dead baby, Sexy's daughter climbs up the rock. Sun wants to get her down, but Priska holds him back. The further up she goes, the more hopeful the rest feels. Right before she reaches the mountaintop, she loses her consciousness and drops dead from the rocks. It becomes clear that they cannot escape through water or mountain. Seizure goes mad and claims that she will go look for her own sister. Just when everyone is at the loss of what to do, Seizure falls to the sands and convulse. Surgeon is not on his right mind now, so no one knows how to rescue Seizure. In the end, she gives up her last breath. By now, the tourists on the beach have aged. Priska's ear goes deaf. Guy's eyesight deteriorates drastically. Even sexy is no longer charming. Sitting on the beach, Guy confesses his thoughts to Priska. It turns out that he has discovered Priska's betrayal, but he chooses to forgive her. Now he only spends meaningful time with his wife. In order to start a fire, 
son and daughter look for materials beneath the sand. They uncover various items, which show that many other tourists have been killed on this beach. Among the relics, there is a diary that keeps a detailed account of what is happening on the beach. The author related the fast aging to some electric magnetic fields. Sun wonders if a metal bar would disrupt the magnetic field, and saves all of them. At this point in time, Sun notices a cameraman situated on top of the mountain. It occurs to him that the cameraman is monitoring them at all times. At night, Guy and Prisca have become elderly man and woman. To their shock, Surgeon charges against them with a knife. Under the protection of Guy, Prisca manages to flee the scene. She finds her children, and tells them to take shelter. Son and daughter enter the cave, only to find Sexy going mad and attacking them without relent. The two siblings hide in a cave. Sexy continues to go after them, but she soon deforms, and dies on the spot. Back to the married couple, Prisca goes back in a pinch, to cut Surgeon with a rusty knife, so that her husband's life would be spared. With the extremely fast flow of time, Surgeon's wound swells, and he is poisoned to death. At last, only Guy's family remains on the beach. Before Guy passes away, he confesses his love to Prisca. Even though he does not utter a word, Prisca accepts his love. Immediately after, Prisca's life also comes to an end. Overnight, the siblings have become middle-aged man and woman. They know that they would die after 10 over hours of time. They begin to play with the sand, an activity they like as a child. Sun is reminded of friend, and remembers his message decoding game. The message is deciphered soon, saying that my uncle does not like corals. Right then, Sun concludes that the way must be hidden in the corals. Perhaps that is the key to breaking the curse of aging. The siblings dive into the sea to search for the corals. However, daughter's clothes are hooked up by the corals. Sun anxiously helps to free her from the corals. Meanwhile, the man appears on the top of the mountain once again. He is no other than the driver. Seeing that there is no more movement underwater, the driver reports to the headquarter that the two siblings drown in water. According to the headquarters instruction, he finishes the number 37 experiment, and packs up to leave the jungle. Driver then returns to his base, where he's filled with all kinds of drugs. The experiment team of a pharmacy company discovers this particular beach on one of their expeditions. It used to take up to a few decades of time to do a drug test, but the beach effectively shortens such a run. Take Seizure for an example, and their drugs are able to help her maintain her status for nearly 16 years of time. Once it goes into the market, it will create a huge profit for the company. While they are celebrating the success of this experiment, a female staff announces that one more batch of tourists has arrived at the resort. The hotel manager sends out his nephew, friend, as bait to entice the new fish. However, before they act out the plan, the surviving siblings expose their wickedness. Sun hands the diary to the policeman, and makes known to the world the heinous deeds of the pharmacy company. Back to the corals, Sun gathers all of his strength to break the corals, so that his sister can be freed. From there, they manage to escape the aging beach, and return to normal life. This is Daniel CC Movie Channel. Stay safe and enjoy your day.